It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your grand reveal in Chatsworth. It only took us four days, guys, because we had a rain delay. And, you know, it's just, I can't thank the community enough. So many of you came by with goodies. We, I mean, we could have had a bake sale this week. We had volunteers come. Uh, thank you, Grace, so much for spending the day helping us bury lines and spread rock and clean up. I mean, it is Herculean, the amount of work that goes into this. And all of that mud did not help. So I feel like, yeah, I, kind of, I pressure washed the driveway and I feel like I've set us all back into drought. So I didn't feel real good about using up all that water, but what a mess. I mean, we tried sweeping, we tried blowing, but I just, I had to get the, I had to get the hose on it. Um, but yes, so here we are. Uh, we've got um, six yards of, a, what is this rock again, guys? Does anybody remember the rock? Mojave Gold. Not, no, Mojave, right? Right. Mojave Gold. Um, three quarter from CNM Landscape, six yards. We, I mean, down to the rock. We barely had enough, but we did it. And then I brought in. Um, this is just a half a yard of black three quarter. Uh, I didn't want to go crazy with the black. One, you know, I'm trying to practice restraint, and two, it gets hot as balls out here in the summer. So I didn't want to, you know, encourage the heat. Um, so yeah, these, these gorgeous barrels came from their backyard, buried under some other plants. So we pulled them into the landscape. I'm absolutely ecstatic. I also brought in a basket, a full basket. So it was about a ton of um, three, well, probably six to 12. Yeah, six to 12 inch rubble. And the, the rubble was the same as the boulders. Um, hey, Greg, what are the boulders again? Auburn Brown, yes, Auburn Brown. Um, and the, the guys, rubble's clutch, especially when you're mounding, um, because you can see areas where it's kind of steep and we have shorn up with the rubble in a really organic looking way. I've got rubble staged at all of the step lines to keep the rock from sliding down into the pathways. And then the rest of the rubble, we just kind of sling it around. We half bury it in the top dressing and it just adds more dimension to the installation. And again, just makes it look thicker. It makes it look older. It makes it look more uh, lush. Um, I'm gonna be really interested to see this garden next year and uh, keep a really good thought that it seasons well and that we don't have a ridiculously hot summer. Uh, but if we do, we do. I have faith in my plants. Um, here's a little hack. Here in the ungy bed, we were running a little low on rock on the three quarter inch. So we pulled a lot of the rubble in to kind of take up space. And I love the look. I mean, it breaks it up, you know, so we don't just have these little soldiers all in a row. Although, you know, the idea of this was to, you know, they will grow into a hedge. And that was what we want to encourage. But in the meantime, absolutely loving the look of the rubble in here. And then Terry from Out of the Box Planters did this absolutely stunning pot for the entry. Terry, you know, I can, you know an artist when you can tell their work. And Terry is a queen of the pastels. Look at how she's got the blues and the pinks and the purples and the mauves all working uh, so beautifully in this pot. Um, just absolutely gorgeous arrangement from Terry. And here's the area where they're gonna hang the swing. And it's been so cute. This is probably like the cutest family in the history of the world. They, the, the couple and their two little boys, they sit out in their grass and they just enjoy their yard and they, they play with each other and they bring the dogs out and it's just, it's just lovely. It's lovely to see um, the boys love uh, to play gardening, which absolutely warms the cockles of my very heart. What? 
Oh yeah, they have their own little, you know, like bite-sized um, wheelbarrows and shovels and rakes and the gloves and all the accoutrement. Um, and they love to garden. And it was so fun earlier. If I could have whipped my camera out, I would have, but they were climbing over the rocks in the garden. It just made me so happy to, you know, get people engaged in the space. So, you know, we didn't talk a whole lot about the pathway, did we? You know, I wasn't sure exactly how that pathway was going to go down, but I'm really, really happy with it. This, you know, natural, the brick path gives you the opportunity to get into the garden very organically. And then this path that the guys installed around to the corner is also just so beautiful and it has such great movement. Um, and it's just another thoroughfare. It's just another way to, to see what's growing on. We, oh, um, also we didn't set the irrigation. We turned it off and gave our homeowners instructions to wait at least a month before turning it on. And we have never done that before because these plants, man, whatever, you know, but it has rained so much and these plants are so saturated and I had to apply so much more water to wash off our rock because it was so dirty that I just was, I was concerned. I don't want anything to rot. So there is no absolutely zero need for any irrigation for a minimum of 30 days. So I'm, I've set a reminder in my phone um, to remind them to turn on their irrigation in about 30 days. We've got the lights, you know, now that we're in daylight savings time, unfortunately we're not gonna get to, um, to show you the night garden, but you know, maybe on the community page, I'll post a picture when the clients send us a picture at night so you can see it. But Greg has once again worked his magic. Now, we do not have any illuminates in the parking strip because there was no electrical out here. So I suggested high-end solar lighting just for the path, for the uh, parking strip. And isn't this a great parking strip? This was grass. Look at the neighbors. Compare. You can have that. Or you can have this. You can have that, or you can have this. I mean, there's no contest. And over here, you know, day one, this was a dead stone fruit of unknown origin, and look at it now. We've got this stunning Dracaena Draco, a couple of porties, some, some aloe cuttings from their backyard, and just a little splash of black rock. It's, it's gorgeous. It's always the simplest things that I love the most in an installation, and I absolutely love. Um, this looks like a giant pot, doesn't it? Yeah, it's great. So we ran the rock all along the creeping fig. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. We've got, you know, in here too, we just added, excuse me, we just added, uh, you know, the rubble to keep um, the rock all shored up. And we've got just a few little simple plants. And then I did, you know, this special little area here by the garage. And our client had a bag, the little, th this is such cute lava. Mm -hmm. This comes from Home Depot, I think. And you buy it in a little half cubic foot bag. And it was just enough. So I went ahead and top dressed that in a little bit of burgundy for her. Um, Let's just go and get a, a few close ups. Of yeah. Yeah, we'll go get a few close-ups of the tapestries for you. Say hi to the crew. And, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Have, have we formally introduced oh, no. Haley? No. Um, please say, give a warm Design for Serenity welcome to our newest crew member, Haley Neighbor. Haley Neighbor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, of course, to the crew and to our happy lady of the manor, um, just so, so much fun. And now, you know, we can party. But, yeah, Hannah's showing you. Terry and I worked out some tapestry areas. And I brought, you know, an assortment of plant material up from Oasis that I felt was, I felt good about it. I mean, I've had a lot of success with these plants in the inland uh, areas of San Diego where it gets really, really hot. So, and it's only, it's only mid-March. You know, it's not technically even spring yet for a few more days. So, you know, hopefully they will have time to acclimate before it gets too hot. And, uh, you know, we'll just, we'll just have to, we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, thank you all so much for reaching out and inquiring uh, about consultations. I've got a couple scheduled up here. 
um, West, West Lake Village, Northridge. Uh, we have another big project coming up in Pasadena in a month or so. I'm going to be up here a lot. So, you know, hit me up if you'd like me to come give you uh, an estimate for your yard. This is the only yard in this entire, you know, area that is gone drought tolerant with cactus and succulents. So this is a really super special, special thing. And the homeowners feel so good about their choice to be responsible stewards and also have a really beautiful tropical looking installation of living art. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity reporting from t for Team DFS in Chatsworth with your grand reveal and your succulent tip of the day. Bye guys.